Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, or much good depending on your location. Please join in the struggle to liberate our people from the contraption. Like and share videos, news update. Come help us fight insecurity in the southeast. Army begs residents. Now, the military in the southeast, talking about 82 Division. 82 Division is in Enugu. Yes, they say they're in charge of uh, Operation Udoka. Operation Udoka. Say, you have seen the propaganda they have been carrying everywhere about uh, what they have done to ESN camp and IPOB camps in the southeast. Yes, they have been carrying that propaganda the years of late, saying, no, that's the, this is the latest propaganda they have carrying. That Inihube, Ako, and the Omololo, Okikwala government, they have been bombarding that place. So they have gone there, they have destroyed ESN camps, they have done this and that. All right, yes, they are public uh, or they are acting deputy director there's the army public relations in that a2 division he said his name is jonah ono akalo he's the man carrying this propaganda he's in charge of this propaganda of the of the army in the southeast now he's always quick to come out and said oh we have done this in the forest we have done that oh we have read it everywhere yes son, and ipub camps that have been destroyed oh yes so the latest propaganda was that in Okigwo Mulol, everything has gone down. They have destroyed IPOBSN. And now the, 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 the letter has been that of Okigwo no Mulol. Among other things he said, he said, after reading IPOB camps, ESN camps, they recover some items. Look at the items, it's laughable. Look at it. Let me quote, he said, let me quote uh, what he said about him. All right. In terms of the items he said they were recovered all right yes they said the items recovered from the camps included different denominations of the biafra currencies one new power bike four motorcycles and solar panels all right other items recovered were pop cement and the petroleum tanker suspected to have been hijacked from its owner you have seen it so these are the things recovered he said Operation Udoka will continue combating crime in accordance with the extant rules and regulations guiding its operations. Now he said all law abiding and good citizens in the southeast are enjoined to act against this devilish terrorist by providing timely, credible and reliable information which will lead to ending the menace of insecurity occasioned by activities of the terrorist group in the region. Do not be a victim of this sacrilege. These criminals are desecrating Igbo land. This is what he said, talking about this uh, acting deputy director of the of the of, of the information of the information of the Nigerian Army A2 Division in Enugu. Yes, so this is what he said. He said that these people are desecrating Igbo land. Who are desecrating Igbo land if not the army? Desecrating Igbo land. If they go, they say, "Oh, we have seen corpses everywhere. We have seen corpses everywhere." Who are they secreting this? If not you guys, killing people extrajudicially without trial. Is that how to do things? People who are no criminal who are no terrorists, they are no criminals. Yes? You are killing them without trial. Look at terrorists who are in the forest, Sambisa. When something happened, and they will do it, they will claim responsibility, they will kill 200 soldiers, they will say, Yes, we have done that. We have killed them. Now you are seeing people who are children for freedom. And you, are, you go and attack people and you kill them. And you come out and you raise chest and beat your chest. You have, you have killed people. You have killed people. You are beating your chest. Go and attack people who are in the Sambisa forest. Go and attack people who are in Niger. They flee any concentration in Niger state. The government have said it. It's more than any other place in the whole, of, in the whole world. The bandits are everywhere there. Go and attack them. They are terrorists. They have weapon and ammunition. Here and now, what did they recover? That's why I read these things. They said they recovered. The items they recovered. They recovered POP cement. Okay? They recovered uh, currency. M motorcycle. Is this the criminal? Is this something that you used to incriminate someone? I said, look, this person is a criminal. Currency. All right. Some people have this Biafra currency in their homes. Some, some Biafrans have it. It was a currency used during the Biafra Republic. And some persons have this currency in their homes, in their home, of course, in their, in their, in their homes. They have it. So is there something wrong? 
they have it it's there so if you see a currency in someone's hands they have found pounds oh the person is still a criminal and the person will be killed immediately on the spot shoot aside because of currency so you are now shooting people because of currency nigerian army donor sorry you have reduced yourself to this mere propagandist of nigerian government people have said it tunibu's government thrives in propaganda that's what they have said they would do one of the fuller new legacies you know a contest for with this with the, the miloko he said it say oh they have known the tactics now the latest tactics of this administration is to deal with uh, deal with nigerians with propaganda yes lies so that is what the army is doing they are leading in this regard in the south is a two division uh, enugu they said they have gone everywhere they have destroyed ipob yes and camps we have told you ipob is not a uh, a, a, you know, a militant organization. They are not terrorist organization. Stop saying this IPOB ESN issue. We have been saying this. You are misleading the the, the gullible people. That's the point because those who are in the know, those who have the, you know, no, those who have their wisdom and brain intact. Yes, they know that you are misleading the gullible because they are aware that ESN and the uh, IPOB, they're not terrorist organizations. Go to United States, go to UK, go to other European countries and tell them. They will tell you the terrorist organizations in the world. They'll name it for you. IPOB, IPOB is not there. Rather, the Fulani henchmen that Buhari refused to, to designate as such as they are the seventh deadliest in the world. The henchmen, Mieti Allah, they did fulfill any armed henchmen terrorizing the people from Benue, Kaduna, Latu, Taraba, even Nasrawa, Niger, even Abuja. Oh, yes, the capital of Nigeria. They are terrorizing people there. Okay, so, and um, even in the southeast, like in Enugu, Ebony, and some other Fima and Anambra, they terrorize people, even Abia. So, no one is, uh, you know, insulated from the attacks. Yet, they are yet to be designated by the Nigerian government. It's the IPOB, Freedom Fighters, Agitators. You are quick to come and say, in Amololo, in Akko, okay, where we are there, we decimated, we killed. So, this is the propaganda, do not believe it. International community, when you hear all this, do not believe what they are saying. The Nigerian army have said they will dwell in propaganda. We have said it, one of the full of new legal acts, he contested. Atika Abaka have told Polatinebo that we have realized that your government have come out to dwell on propaganda. Yes, to rule Nigeria with propaganda. And that is what is happening. That is what the army is doing. The chief of army staff, his brother, Tauri Lagbaja, is chief propagandist in the Amiloka administration and that is it so do not believe do not listen to their propaganda is all